Well, good morning and happy Friday to you. I hope that uh, you had a great week so far and that you can finish strong today, preparing yourself for a wonderful weekend, uh, including a full day of worship and rest this coming Sunday. And I hope that uh, you will make your way to the journey uh, this weekend and enjoy some sweet time and fellowship with your church family. Uh, we're in 1 John chapter number four again today. Remember I told you we would do a two part on love. Uh, and, and here's where love goes the extra, goes to the extra place, that, that extra oomph, I should say. Uh, and so it starts in verse number 17. It says, Herein is our love made perfect, uh, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because he, as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Amen. Right there. That's that's it. We are able to love because of the love of God. People without Christ think they're loving, but they're actually not even getting the, they're only getting the tip of the iceberg. The, the real uh, love is when we're in relationship with God, when we ex we can sense that that love from God in us by his spirit. That's where we get the power. That's where we get the strength for enduring love, the kind of love that is for others' benefit, the kind of love that uh, doesn't seek its own but seeks the benefit of others, the kind of love that can last through uh, the, the difficulties of life. That's the kind of love we want. Uh, if any man say, I love God and hateth his brother, he's a liar. For he uh, that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Wow, uh, we are given the, the mandate to be uh, an, an, an example, an expression, uh, the actual physical element of God's love here on the earth to other people. Uh, when, when struggles come, we're supposed to be the first ones that can forgive and continue to love. Uh, when, when heartbreak happens, we are able to heal and grow and get strong again. Uh, I want to encourage you today. I don't know where you're having the most difficulty being a loving person, uh, but recognize this, that in your relationship with God, in your time in God's word, in your devotion to him is where the strength of your love is going to come from. And remember that uh, perfect love casts out fear. We're able to love because he first loved us. Isn't that the, the, isn't fear the reason why we struggle to love people? We're afraid of getting hurt. We're afraid they'll, they'll abuse the privilege of being in relationship with us. But God's love isn't afraid of that. Think about this. Think about how many times you've abused the, 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 the relationship you have with God to presume on him and do your own thing, even when it hurts him and even when he's told us not to. Well, the kind of love that we get from the Father is the kind of love we're supposed to give to others. God loves us, and he's given us his Son. And if we'll walk in the strength of the Spirit, we can love others in an incredible way. And so I want you to be that loving element in every circumstance. Uh, when you're uh, trying to figure out how to get your Christmas list done, be that loving presence in the store, in the checkout line. Uh, when you're trying to figure out uh, what your plans are going to be, be the one that's the flexible one in the planning, the one that's trying to consider how to make it work for everyone. Uh, I don't know if you recognize this, but when we walk with God, we are able to love people in a beautiful way, and it causes them to enjoy life more, and it may even open the door of salvation to them. Uh, if we know God, we love. If we don't know God, then it's obvious because we can't love. There are a lot of people that walk around with their arms folded and have a scowl on their face, and they're looking for a fight with everyone. That's not love. Uh, God gives us a better way. And so it's my encouragement to you today. You don't have to say everything. You don't have to have an opinion about everything. You can just love people. You can just love people. And I hope that that helps you enjoy an incredibly blessed day. God is love. And if God is in us, we can express love. Enjoy your day. I'll see you soon.